In 1992, Richard Garriott of Origin Systems introduced us to the crowning achievement of one of the greatest game series ever made. Ultima 7 The Black Gate is unquestionably one of the greatest RPGs ever, and certainly one of the greatest games ever. Now you can't ask any questions about that because I said it was unquestionable. Ultima 7 The Black Gate had a second part, Ultima 7 The Serpent Isle but that game is for another day. Nowadays, us gamers take for granted that RPGs can have day-night cycles, weather effects, and towns filled with characters that follow 24-hour schedules. When The Black Gate debuted, it combined all of these things and more into an experience that had never before been seen in gaming. Not only can you combine flour and water to bake bread in an oven, but you can also visit a nude couple hiding in a bee cave who call themselves Mama and Papa. Yes, there are dragons and bandits. Yes, there's gold and gems. And yes, there's swords and magic. But never before were all of these things so fun and presented with such advanced graphics for the time. Obviously, by today's standards, the graphics are quite primitive, but trust me, back in the day, this game pushed your PC to the limit, often requiring special boot-up discs just to run properly. Ultima 7 also introduced gamers to a nearly entirely mouse-driven game, doing away with cryptic keyboard commands. You're not typing W to go west, you're just clicking and moving a mouse cursor. The game contains very little spoken dialogue, but knowing the track record of speech in games, particularly in the past, that's probably a good thing. In The Black Gate, you are the Avatar, the hero of the Ultima series who has on numerous previous occasions been summoned from Earth to the land of Britannia to right the wrongs that plague it. But this time, no one knows why or who summoned you. You start out by investigating a gruesome murder in the local town of Trinsic, and from there the story gets deeper and more involved. I won't spoil the plot for you, but let's just say that this is not your typical RPG plot. Being able to pick up, move, and interact with just about everything in the game was so fun, I would find myself spending hours just messing around with the game world. Yes, it was fun to just stack stuff on other stuff or use exploding gunpowder to blow stuff up. This game is arguably the grandfather of modern open world games like The Elder Scrolls, which first debuted in 1994. Back in 1992, and even today, Ultima 7 remains something truly special. You could roam the countryside, finding some pretty crazy and rewarding stuff. Yes, I must confess, the automated combat system was a bit disappointing and left you confused as to what was happening and to whom, but outfitting your characters with weapons and armor and training them up was just awesome fun. Ultima 7 featured some amazing songs and even today the music from the game is easy on the ears and can catch you off guard by just how good it is. Just listen to these tracks. And finally, my favorite song from the series, Stones. The Black Gate also had an expansion pack known as Forge of Virtue, which allowed you, the Avatar, to finally banish an old adversary for once and all, and in the process gains superhuman strength. You also got one of the most powerful weapons to ever grace an Ultima game, the Black Sword. So cool. 
Although they no longer make new box copies of the game, finding a complete set on the internet will reveal the awesome extras that came with it. For example, in Ultima 7 The Complete Collection CD Edition, you got the game CD, several books, a cloth map, and a Fellowship medallion. I could go on for hours about how awesome this game was, and still is, but instead I want to point you to goodoldgames.com where you can become the avatar for yourself and enter into this amazing world of Britannia. I'm not associated or affiliated with goodoldgames.com and I don't get any money from you buying it. I'm just recommending a place where you can get it legally for a small cost. You'll need to use DOSBox or the remade Exalt engine to run the game, but if you choose goodoldgames.com, you'll get DOSBox with custom settings perfectly designed just for Ultima 7 The Black Gate. Ultima 7 The Black Gate is without a doubt one of my favorite games of all time and a game that I think every serious RPG fan should play. Thanks for watching and now let's all howl in honor of Ultima 7 The Black Gate. Yeah! <laughs>